So. Sure, you're about to feel very, very old. Why is that? Don't look. Do not look to your right. Do not look to your right. You're about to feel like the oldest guy in this building. Why is that? Now, you played NFL quarterback for how many? Don't look to your right for how many years in this league? 14. 14 years in NFL quarterback. You went to a Super Bowl. You were an MVP, and you've been on TV for 20 years since, right? That's right. I'm going to introduce you to a guy who's yes. also an NFL quarterback. Okay. And you're going to think he's 12 years old, and you could be his grandfather. Okay. All right? I say that with all due respect to both of you. Yes. Look to your right. Trevor, how are you, bud? Hey, morning, How's it going, man? Good to see, see you, man. Hey, guys, you know, I've never met I Trevor. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah, I got watch you help your grandson here. Put it on. Oh, Thanks, guys. Trevor, see me, of course. Uh, uh, what's going on with the arm? How's the recovery? And what's cooking with that? Uh, arm's good. I'm about three weeks in this in this sling, three slow weeks, and uh, i got three more. And then I'll start rehab. Um, oh, it's brutal, right? It's killing you. As, yeah, as far as the, the subtle red bag goes. Um, <laughs> we know yeah. what that is. That's the Skittles. Get we'll the get Skittles. that in a minute. We'll get that, that in a minute. Yeah. Don't worry uh, about you it. You can't even carry the Skittles bag. Right, you, right, right. Struggling right a bit. When you see Boomer, uh, do you does Boomer appear to be like an older man? Does he look? <laughs> he, he's certainly not like a big brother figure. But when you see Boomer, and you obviously know who he is, what do you first see just physically when you see Boomer as eyes? Big guy. Bigger yeah. than I thought. Really? Bigger, Bigger than, than he looks on TV. There you wow. go. Well, yeah. you know, the interesting thing is, you know, his boss yes. and I were contemporaries, John yeah. Elway. So, you know, we were we were the group of the bigger quarterbacks that really started to take over the NFL. Right. And, you know, listen, they get, they're getting bigger every year. You know, but the thing about you, I'm I just shrinking. want you, you, I was well, yeah. you know, the, the thing is, is that you, you had your first year as the legitimate starting quarterback of your team. Mm hmm. Was it everything that you – I know you got hurt, and I know it was right. a lot of pressure, you know, coming back off of the Super Bowl and all that other stuff. Those are pretty big shoes to fill right. in Peyton Manning. I mean, what was that like for you? Well, uh, you know, first of all, it was a blast. I, I, I had so much fun. Um, and, you know, I went through it the first time, didn't play, kind of kind of red-shirted, but uh, going through everything and um, being around the locker room and going through a 16-game season, you kind of realize how long the thing is. Yep. Um, but it was fun, you know, you got the, those peaks and valleys of the season. I uh, wish we would have got in the tournament there down the stretch, but I uh, learned a lot, no doubt, and, uh, you know, ha happy to start my career out that way. Yeah, it's interesting, when you get there, you know, Mark Sanchez had been brought in and was kind of, I don't know, publicly anointed as he's going to be our starting quarterback, at least going into, you know, training camp and, you know, the preseason. And I wonder when you go in there, and you've got to be wide-eyed and you've no idea what's going on. It's the NFL, and you're just happy to be there. And I'm sure you, and you said everything right. At what point does it automatically kick in where I can beat this guy out with respect and I can be the starting quarterback? Is that day one when you walk on the field and put the pads back on? Well, I think after, um, after my first year, um, you know, coaches and everybody told me that I'd have a chance. Uh, have a chance to be the guy and, right. and that's all I needed to hear because you know I, I thought I had a chance um, personally so um, that's what I wanted to hear um, and, and then I got back to OTAs and went to work and um, things kind of turned around for me but uh, I was I was kind of hurt coming in too so it was good to get healthy um, and then get a year year in a cube system right which helped so um, I was ready to hit the ground running when OTAs came. I was kind of chomping at the bit. Talking to Trevor Simeon, quarterback for the Denver Broncos. You said it, Coob. Coob's no longer there. He retires on you guys, and you have a new coach. Is the offensive system going to stay the same, and what's going to happen in that side of the ball? I think it'll, I think it'll be different. Um, you know, Coach McCoy is going to run what, what he's, he's been so doing. So he's coming back now. So he's sure. coming back, the former head coach of the San Diego Chargers. Right. Right. Was previously the offensive coordinator at the Broncos before he got that job. Right. So now he comes back, and you feel like the system is going to be his system now. Yes. Uh, you know, and, um, you know, that's, that's exciting for me. Um, you know, because at this point in my career, I think getting exposed to as much football as I can is good for me. And um, no doubt Coach McCoy – um, Coach Musgrave, all, all the new guys we got coming in, I have, have a proven track record. Um, I've coached a ton of good players, so it's exciting for guys like me, still learning and um, be a part of this. Do you thing. think uh, John always concerned that with your arm banged up, you're eating too many Skittles? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to hit the weight room at some yeah. point and the elliptical again? I, I think we're all right. I got, I got a three, uh, three more weeks. And right. be Here's the interesting thing for you. What is the, what is the uh, interaction between you and uh, John? John Elway. It's good. Um, I mean, does he come down and talk to you a lot after games? or? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, one thing Mr. Elway does a good job of is, is he doesn't try to coach too much. You know, he lets the coaches coach. And, um, you know, if you've got a question for him, he'll, he'll be happy to answer and help you out. Um, but he's been, he's been great with me and the rest of the guys. I know love him. Um, but, you know, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want to step on any toes or, 
or uh, cross that line with being, being a general manager and a coach. I think he does a good job of that. He ever go out there and start flinging it around with you guys and show off a little bit? After all, he is John Elway. I haven't seen that yet. That hasn't happened I, yet? I haven't seen that They're yet. They're telling me that yeah. this uh, bag of yours shoots Skittles. It does. It now, does. Um, I assume I need to help you with that? Yeah, I need a little help here. This is this is a two-man job, no doubt. Uh, hold on. Let me come over here. Oh, you take that one. Yeah, okay. I'll take this one. You, get, you take this one. There. You know, every now and then you got to help an NFL quarterback out, booms. That's what I do. All right, Trevor, what do I do, everybody? <laughs> okay, so take that cup right there. I got to plug it in? I, I'll do the plug in. Uh, you the plug, plug it in. I got tricky. a cup. Um, here we go. Right, right down here. All right, hold uh, on. Let's... I put the cup. Oh, it's like a... Uh... It's like a bubble gum machine. Yeah. Like the skittle's just gonna come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm stealing this. Just a quick little shot for All right, you. Here we go. Oh, I like that. Look at Trevor Sims. Okay, now we're on the We're working on the accuracy. Hold on one second. Hold the mic. Can I see this a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Hold ahead. on one second. Ready? Uh, yes. Oh, I was gonna shoot him. <laughs> I wanted to shoot him at Boomer. Yes. Yeah, Boomer never met a skittle he didn't like, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Skittles is an official sponsor, of course, and Trevor's here. So is this thing like I mean, have you been immobile for a month now? A couple of weeks, so three weeks. Um, and it's it's fine. Uh, sleeping's tough. I'm it's not gonna lie to you. What exactly um, was the surgery? Sorry. Yeah. What was um, the surgery? So I had a I had an AC joint uh, separation, and um, you know it was, it was um, bothering me um, for a good bit of the year. And then when I got healthy, it was um, I still had trouble moving around and, and working out. So um, decided to get it fixed and. Guys, guys like here. Craig think that quarterbacks who are right-handed and hurt their left shoulder, no big deal, shouldn't be affected. You should be able to go out there and play with the with the bad left right. shoulder. Right. If you're a man, yeah. <laughs> if you're a man, right? <laughs> <laughs> why why are you punching people from behind? <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. Anyway, Trevor, yeah. let me just say, how much of a pain in the ass is Peyton Manning? <laughs> like, does he make you deliver Papa John's pizza because he's Peyton Manning, or is he a good guy to have around? You know. Um, Honestly, Peyton took it easy on me in my rookie year. He I did. think that's when, that's when most of the uh, – I thought that I, I would get some stuff then, but um, he took it easy on me. What was it like the first time you met him? Were you nervous? Uh, I was. Um, I remember I was, I was in the cafeteria. He came up to me and he said, uh, you know, Trevor, welcome aboard. Good to have you. Excited to get to work with you. How's Pat doing? And I said, you know, I was kind of nervous. And I said, Pat, Pat. I'm kind of rolled yeah, saying, who's Pat? Who the hell is Pat? And um, – I was talking about my college coach, Coach Fitz, Fitzgerald. But uh, it was just a funny moment for me to be like, uh, he's good. <laughs> I Pat's good. Pat, yeah. Yeah, Pat was. So uh, uh, what does exactly Omaha mean? Yeah, um, it's just part of our cadence. Um, now, he ain't around no more. You crazy. can tell us the truth. No, I mean, he's, not he's not going to call you. It's he's nothing, busy. Uh, nothing crazy. I mean, it's part, part of a cadence. Uh, obviously, Peyton uh, made it famous. Right. Um, and then there were some dummy cadences. Um, when you watch – Boomer talks about him having a Ph.D. You know, as a quarterback, preparation, all that. When you watch him and you watch in awe, uh, the great Peyton Manning, how he prepared for a game, had you ever seen anything like that? I hadn't. Uh, you know, obviously I hadn't. That was my first time going through it. But, um, you know, I obviously anticipated him and being really well prepared and um, being a master of the game, but seeing it firsthand and going through the meetings with them. And uh, it truly was no stone unturned with him. You know, right. it was every scenario you could think of we covered in meetings. And I'm talking about, Everything. you know, what if the umpire is two yards to the side and <laughs> really? we're running off tackle? And That's unbelievable. You know, it was, what it if was, the umpire's in a different spot? Now, Boomer's yeah. always talked about – the difference between year one and year two, and obviously you didn't play as a rookie, right. is the speed. I don't care where you play college, maybe some SEC games, but the speed is something you can't prepare for. Can you put into words what that's like until you get to the point where it, quote, unquote, slows down? Like, how do you describe the speed when you're first in there? Yeah, I think it's a comfort level. Um, you know, obviously for me, my first year I didn't play much at all, and, and uh, you know, I got a few reps in camp, which was good, but... Um, there's a speed of playing with the threes, and there's the speed of playing with the big guys too, um, which which is important. But you know, for me, I found you know, looking back, the, the first part of the season to, to the last to the end of the season was was a totally different game for me. It was. Felt like I was, a, you know, may, you know, maybe statistically I wasn't, um, but you got any it. Like better. The light but, bulb went off, right? right? And it was it was just a different game for me. So um, I think that's part of the deal. You got to be out there. You got to play. Now, before we let you go, I wonder this: we live in a day and age where cornerbacks and wide receivers are a pain in the ass. So, you know, Emmanuel Sanders is coming here in a little bit, actually with oh, Josh yeah. Norman, which is interesting. Um, how often does a guy like that 
in the huddle go, dude, the ball, I'm open. I'm 7-11. I'm always <laughs> open. Give me the ball. Is it nonstop with the wide receivers? You know, I, I, I've been pretty fortunate with, with uh, Manuel DT and the rest of our guys. Um, you know, there's some of that, no doubt, but you want that. I mean, um, you know, we're, we're pl I'm playing with the best competitors in the Think world. Think about this for a second. They went from playing with Peyton Manning, who probably told them all shut up, right, <laughs> to going with a young kid like Trevor, right. like, and always giving you right. their advice and how they're open and how you, right. they want you to throw them Which the ball. guy, like, try to befriend you outside of the facility yeah. to, you know, cozy up to the new quarterback saying, look, why don't we go bowling? Why don't we hang out? Come to my place for barbecue. Right. Who really, who got into you first and try to make that relationship? I think every guy that wanted the ball. Um, but Emmanuel is right up there. Um, good. We're going to talk to him next. We're going to yes. find out what he did. But Emmanuel is good. I mean, I told those guys, you know, I appreciate you, you know, being patient with me to a certain extent. It's not, not easy going from um, one of the greatest ever to a guy like me. So um, those guys were great with me and helped pull me along. All right, we appreciate you coming by. Thanks for bringing the Skittles. Thanks and for And good me, luck with the rehab, and we'll uh, yeah. hopefully Thanks, see you uh, playing well Thanks, soon. Good, good right. meeting you guys. And if it doesn't work out in Denver, we could probably use you in New York with the Jets. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Tell your agent. That's Trevor Simeon, Denver Broncos, of course. Here's Boomer with a few words.